Hello my friends. In this video, I will show you three different ways you can back up your Windows 10 operating system. I'll be covering how to set up restore points to setting up backup and restore, and I'll end it with creating a system image you can restore from. I have set up chapters in this video so you can easily navigate to a part of this video that interests you. Let's start off by setting up a restore point. To do that, go down to your search bar and start typing in the word restore. From there, you can select create restore point. This will open up a pop-up window that gives you the system protection area where you can set up your drives, you can set it on or off. As you can tell on this one, in my storage drive it's off, but on my C drive it's on. Windows automatically already had it turned on for me or I turned it on earlier and I don't remember doing it. So, If you want to configure it with the disk that you have selected, you can see that it has turned on or off, you can enable or disable, and you can set the current usage of the disk that it's going to. If I wanted to turn it on on my storage drive, I could just hit configure here and turn it on. Now I have backups on this, so it should give me an error, yeah. So using system protection, it's just because I already have image and backups on there, so I'll just disable it on this drive, but I just wanted to show you that's how you enable and disable on those drives, okay? So the next thing we want to do, if we wanted to create a restore point, it'd be right here, but we're gonna to go to system restore first. So I'm gonna click on system restore. This will bring up a window here saying, okay, you can restore right now. Here's the recommended one we have because Windows has already created them. But if you want to see different restore points, say you've restored it three or four times, just come down here to different restore point, select that, it'll pull up all the different ones. And you can see in here, Windows it has automatic restore points for the system and for an install. If you want to show more, just select this box right here. It'll show you all the different restore points that you have in this section, okay? Next, I'm going to go back. We're going to create our own. So I'm going to go ahead and cancel out of this. So next thing I want to do is I want to create a restore point. So I'm going to do it right here. Simply just click this create button here. First, I'm going to check my time. Okay, let's come back up here. We're going to create a new point. I'm going to go ahead and name it demo restore point. Perfect. After that, I hit create and it's going to go ahead and start working in the background. It's going to start creating that restore point for you. Okay. So once it's done, there we go. That was quick, very, very fast. So now that we've created that restore point, we can always go back to this point whenever we want to by going to the system restore, go down to choose a different restore point and then click the word next. It'll bring it up and there it is on the very top. So let's go ahead and restore to that. So I'm going to select demo restore point and I'm going to hit next. Then after it verifies everything with you, we're going to hit finish here and we should be good to go. It'll say once it's started, don't interrupt it. So that's fine. We'll hit yes here and the system's going to reboot, so I'll be right back after it does that. Okay, we've rebooted, we're back, and this is the first window that you're gonna get. It's gonna verify that your system and restore has been completed successfully and everything is good to go. Next, we're gonna set up backup and restore. To do that, go down to your search bar and type in the word backup. From there, it'll pull up this little backup. We'll select it right here, and this is gonna open up the backup window. We have three options, backup files to OneDrive, backup files to file history, but we wanna to go to backup and restore for Windows 7, so I'm gonna select this button right here. Okay, so you can tell right now it has not been set up in my machine, so I'm gonna come up here and set, set up backup, click on this button here, and it's gonna start working in the background and get everything set up for you. First thing it's going to ask is, okay, where do you want to save this backup? I'm going to save it on my storage drive. I have a drive, a next drive in this machine that I'm going to use. And then I'm going to click next down here. It's going to ask you, do you want to let the Windows choose it for you or you can choose your own? Windows does a pretty good job. It backs up all your files, but the most important thing, it creates an image. And that's what we really want to have because it's just a flash of everything else. You could go to let me choose here and select it and you can select whatever disk if you have any extra disk that you want to do but the most important thing here is it includes a system image and that's just a snapshot of everything that's going on right now which has all your files so we'll do it again so i'll say set up backup i'm going to tell it to put it on my storage drive here i'm going to go ahead and let windows choose everything for me it's good to make sure we have that image in there it is and it may require a repair disk to fire it up but we're just going to keep moving forward on this one okay so next I'm gonna hit next and it's gonna open up a pop-up window here in a minute and there you go. So now it says this backup is in progress. We're gonna go and click view details cause I like to see it. And I'll be right back after all this is finished. Okay, we're back. It took a little while for it to do it but the backup is finally in progress. As you can tell, it's at 97%. It'll complete here in a minute. There it goes, it just completed, perfect. So now that we're done, you can see it's got backup dates and everything in there. I'm gonna go ahead and close this window right here down there we go and you can see the next backup is like in a month last backup but you can change the schedule here which is very nice so you go through the same process 
let Windows choose, except for this time, I'm gonna say change schedule, right? So if I want this thing to back up weekly, daily, um, monthly, however you want it to it, and what day you want it to back up, this is where you can modify and select all that. So I can select like Sunday, and then you can come in here and select whatever time you want. And that's how you set up and back up Windows. Next, we're gonna create a system image. A system image is a nice little snapshot that you can always go back to if needed. To do that, go down to your search bar and search for backup. Select your backup settings up here on the top. And then you'll see right here, it says, go to backup and restore Windows 7. We're gonna go ahead and select that one. If you wanna set up your backup, this is where you set up, which I did earlier in the video, but we're mainly concerned about is creating a system image. So I'm gonna select create system image. Windows is gonna go back and see what drives you have that it can write to. On my system, I have a storage drive, so I'm gonna go ahead and write to it. And then from there, I'm gonna click next. And what it's gonna do there, the nice thing it's gonna do here actually, is it shows you what it's gonna copy over. So it's gonna copy everything over the storage drive, but it has my three partitions, which is super nice. So if I have a hard drive that breaks, I can always go back to it. Okay, I'm gonna tell it to start the backup. This is gonna take a little bit and I'll be right back. Okay, we're almost there. It looks like Windows is almost done finishing this backup. And once it finished, we'll be good to go. We'll have a system image now that we can restore. So if you lose a hard drive or something happens like that and you have to restore this system, you'll have this image that you can restore, okay? It will require a repair disk like it says right here, but I'm just gonna tell it no and let this thing go ahead and finish, okay? So after that, what I'm gonna do is I wanna close all these windows down here. I'm gonna go back and look in my drives where it wrote to, because I have that disk on this machine. I'm gonna go to the storage drive. I'm gonna go to the image. Oh yeah, here we go. It's gonna keep giving me this warning. That's okay, we'll keep going through there. There's the demo lab that I created. And you can see on the very top there, the top folder is the backup. That's the one where the image actually is. You'll need all of these, but when you're restoring it, it'll just ask you, it'll find this image for you. The main image right there is that hard disk image. That's the one that's gonna be restoring. It has everything there ready for you to restore to. And that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Have a good one.